Okay, so then after class, I run up to Josh in the hallway. Aw, his Roblox avatar is so cute. Brown hair, green eyes, charming. And I can't believe we have so much in common. <laughs> I just met this guy last week and we already know each other so well. Oh, he's typing. He said, do you play any sports? Oh, I actually do. I play hockey. It's one of my favorite sports. And send. Ooh, now I just have to wait for the response. Ooh, he responded. He said, Wow, that's neat. It's awesome that you are so into hockey. I know a bit about it since my sister plays it and I've been to so many of her tournaments. My cat, Fish, loves watching the games as well, so I bring him with me every time. Whoa! His sister plays hockey and he knows the sport? That's even more things we have in common. Not to mention, he also has a pet cat and I have a goldfish. <laughs> Let me reply. That's amazing. I have a pet goldfish. What team is your sister on for hockey? And send. A few moments later. Hmm. That's strange. No reply. He was just texting a second ago. Jade! I just... I don't understand. What don't you understand? Oh, um... I... Well, you see, I just don't understand why you're in my room, that's all. <laughs> oh, well, okay. I just wanted to let you know that dinner is ready. This time your dad made it. I did the seasoning. Okay, Mom, I'll be there in a sec. Alright, but don't take too long. I don't want your food to get cold. Okay, got it, Mom. Phew, that was a close one. Oh, he responded. He said, Oh, sorry, I was in the bathroom. Her team is called the Thrashers. Oh, that's why he didn't respond. I thought he didn't know his sister's team. That would have been pretty suspicious considering he went to a lot of her tournaments. <laughs> Jade, dinner, now! Oh, right, dinner. Coming, Mom! Let me just text him real quick. I gotta go, TTYL. And send. Phew, now I gotta get to dinner. I'm so excited to text him later. Well, don't you look happier than usual. Why is that? Oh, um, it's nothing. Nothing? I was just talking to one of my friends on Roblox. Oh, Jade, you have to be careful on that website. I was just watching the news. I've heard numerous kids your age get kidnapped there. God... Who knows what happened to them? I know, Mom. You say that all the time. And I mean it every single time I say it. Look, I don't know what I'd do if that ever happened to you. I love you so much. Who's that from? Oh, it's probably just one of my friends. Look, I'm gonna go back to my room, okay? Bye! Well... She's definitely acting stranger than usual. I don't blame her. This food you cooked sucks. Hey! You put the seasoning on it, though. Yeah, and that's the only good part. Look, at first this meal looked good. Don't get me wrong, but sometimes looks are deceiving. Yes! I figured it was Will. He says, I've been meaning to tell you something. I like you. O-M-G. This is exactly what I was waiting for. I like you too. It's sent. Wow, this is a dream come true. <laughs> the next day. As the days went by, Jade talked to Will more and more on Roblox chat. And they got to know each other better every day. Will lured her in. Closer and closer like a fisherman reeled in a fish. Even though their friendship seemed too good to be true, Jade was just excited to find someone she connected with for once. Someone who actually understood her. Eventually, she fell in love hard with Will and wanted to take things further with him. So, when Will asked, Do you want to be friends on Discord? Jade didn't hesitate to let out, eh? Yes! 
Wow, I just love talking to Will. I finally found someone who connects with me so well. <laughs> oh, he's typing. He said, now that we've grown so much closer and we even have Discord, I was wondering if I could come over sometime and we could hang out. What's your address, babe? OMG! Well, that's a big step. But I've gotten to know Will so well, I'm sure I can trust him. My parents will be out of town from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. tomorrow, so that's the perfect time for him to come over. I'm so excited. Let me send him a reply on Discord. Hey, babe. Eee! Of course we could hang out. My parents will be here from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m., so you could come over then. My address is 504 Brookhaven Avenue. I'm thrilled to finally get to meet you. And send. Yay, he's responding. He said, that's great. I'm free tomorrow so I can come. I can't wait to see you. Also, I forgot to ask, how are you today? Oh my gosh, this is going so well! Eee! Let me respond. I'm always great when I'm talking with you, silly. Although I do wish I had a pet to cuddle with. Goldfish aren't exactly cuddling material, lol. <laughs> and send. He said, lol, that's true. But you're right, I love when my dog cuddles up with me in the morning. Dog? I thought he had a cat named Fish. Hold on. I thought you had a cat. Fish, remember? What's going on here? He said, Oh yeah, I do have a cat, but I also have a dog. You're just confused, that's all. Hmm. You've never mentioned your dog. May I see a picture of him? A few moments later. Hmm. He's not responding. That's strange. I've never met anyone who doesn't have a picture of their dog on them. Oh, he responded. He said, sorry I took so long, I had to go do something. Anyway, here's a picture of Greg, my golden retriever. Aww, his dog is actually so cute. Wait, the picture he sent me is off the internet. Okay, this guy is acting really shady. Um, this is off the internet, care to explain? A few moments later. Hmm, he's taking a long time to respond again. This is getting really weird. Oh, there we go, he responded. He said, that's right, Greg became a bit of an internet sensation and ended up on the internet. Huh, that's odd. I would imagine I would have heard about Greg before if he was so popular. I'm just gonna say I have to go. I have to go, bye. And it's sent. Oh no, oh no, oh no. This guy's just gotten very shady and he's coming over to my house tomorrow. I should have just listened to my mom. I've heard numerous kids your age get kidnapped there. God, who knows what happened to them? <sighs> oh, he sent a message. He said, all right, bye love. Sorry if you confused. He's so romantic though. Maybe I was just overreacting. I should take his words. I was only confused, right? Yeah, only confused. Jade, lunch. Made by me this time. You had to add that last part? Yes, I did. You saw how she was last night. Okay, coming, Mom! The next day. Bye, Mom. Bye, Dad. Bye, sweetie. We love you. Bye, Jade. Stay safe. I will. Don't worry. Bye! Oh no... Will says he's almost here. I'm starting to have second thoughts about this. Who the heck are you? You're not Will! You're right. The name's actually Bill. Bill Peterson. I knew something was shady about you ever since you mentioned you had a dog. You liar! Now get away from my house! I never should have given you my address! Huh. You're not as dumb as you seem. But did you catch on to the fact that I had a cat named Fish? Which, if you put two and two together, makes catfish? No. Nice house you got here. Very classy. What are you doing here? What are you going to do to me? Oh, that's what you're worried about, eh? You'll find out soon enough. 
You're coming with me. <laughs> no, no, no! Stop it! So, how's the food? Good. Better than the food you make, that's for sure. Hey! So, how was work, honey? It was... Oh, sorry about this. Hold on. Hmm. It's Keith, our neighbor from across the street. Hello, Keith. What is it? Hi, Mrs. Miller. I was going outside to ride my skateboard, but I noticed this guy dragging your daughter on your driveway outside. He's now putting her in his car. I thought I'd let you know. I think you need to call the police. I can go help if you want. No, I don't want you getting in trouble. I'll call the police right now. The police? Thanks for letting me know. Bye. It's Jade! She's in danger! <laughs> Bet you don't think my cooking's bad now. Daniel! Not. The. Time! Welcome to your new home. This is where you'll be staying until you get transported to the fields and shipped out. The fields? Shipped? You don't think I kidnapped you for no reason, did you? I'm sending you to the fields to work along with all my other prisoners. And with your service, I'll be getting paid a whole lot of money. No one will ever find out where you are, and you'll be spending the rest of your life in misery! That's horrible! But you mentioned other prisoners? You don't think you're the only person I kidnapped, did you? Here, come with me. Here are all the other prisoners. You were my last one. Now that I have 20 of you, I can finally ship you out. These are all the kids my mom was talking about who got kidnapped due to Roblox. Oh no. What have you done to them? Are they okay? They're just delusional. Pretty amazing what chemicals can do. Am I right? You monster! By 2 a.m. we'll all be on our way in my van to the fields. But now, it's time for you to go to sleep. No! FBI, open up! How did they... Let's make this quick! Now I have you right where I can! Whoa... Are you alright, Jade? Yes, I'm okay. Jade, are you okay? Oh my gosh, I was so worried about you. What happened? Tell me everything. <laughs> well, you see, there was this guy named Will and we were friends on Roblox and then we started talking to each other and he said he liked me and so we started online dating and then eventually I gave him our address. He came over today, but it wasn't really him. I was catfished. It was Bill, the middle-aged man the officer just shot. He put me in his car and took me here. He said he would take me along with all the other kids he kidnapped, using Roblox to the fields to work forever. I'm so sorry this had to happen and I was so naive. Oh my goodness. It's okay. I'm so glad you found the missing kids, but I'm so sorry you had to go through all of that. I should have listened to what you said at dinner that one day, Mom. I'm glad you brought that up, Jade. You're right. What your mom said during dinner was completely true. She said to be careful. There are so many dangerous people nowadays in this world. We just want to protect you. Promise, you'll never do anything like this again. Promise. But how did you guys know to come here? 
Keith called me. He said he saw you and that some guy was taking you in his car. So I called the police and now the FBI are here too to investigate everything. Uh, what do you say we head home now? It's been a long day. I'll order your favorite for lunch tomorrow, pizza. And Keith can come over too. I think you guys should get to know each other better anyway. That sounds great, Mom. Fantastic. Now, follow me. This place gives me the creeps. Wow! This pizza's great, Mrs. Miller! I'm glad you like it. It's Jade's favorite. And please, call me Maggie. So, Keith, what do you like to do for fun? Well, I like to hang out with friends, go skateboarding, and of course, play Roblox. Wow, that's great! Jade loves Roblox. Isn't that right, Jade? That's right, I do. Uh, by the way, Keith, thanks for saving me. I don't know what I'd do without you. I'd probably be working on the fields right now if it wasn't for you. Aw, you're welcome! Look, I hate to disrupt this precious moment, but guys, look at what's on the news! Breaking news! Last night, one of the teenagers from Brookhaven, Jade Miller, got kidnapped from playing the popular game Among Kids Worldwide, Roblox. She was texting and online dating this guy she had met in Roblox, who she thought was her age, but was actually a middle-aged 43-year-old man. When she gave him her address, he came over, grabbed her, and took her with him to his house. Luckily, everyone is okay due to Keith Myers, their neighbor across the street, who witnessed this and caused the police and FBI to get involved and track the man down. The FBI discovered several guns and weapons stationed throughout this man's house, but what's very surprising is that they also found 19 delusional children in the basement. These children had also been kidnapped due to Roblox and had been missing for several months now because the police couldn't track them down. But now they are all being reunited with their families in safety again. The man behind it all, Bill Peterson, is being sentenced to a lifetime in prison and will face several charges. I guess my message here is for all children to stay safe. The world we live in today is very dangerous, and you never know who's actually behind a screen. Be smart and be cautious when you're talking to someone you don't know. If you need help, ask an adult. Stay on alert and be careful when trusting someone. That's all for 101 Brookhaven News. Have a nice day and be sure to stay safe. Wow, I can't believe I was on the news. This is all so crazy. I know. But I'm glad you're safe again. And all those other kids are too. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> From that moment on, Jade learned to be careful in the cyber world and vowed to stay away from strangers on Roblox chat until she was old enough to do so. She also started a blog, informing kids across the globe that the online world can be dangerous and that you never actually know who's really behind the screen. Always be on alert and stay cautious. If someone is acting suspicious, tell an adult or someone you trust right away. It could just save you from being catfished. Please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and we'll see you all soon.